Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. This is Brandy. She just came in yesterday. She's a 15-year-old halflinger that has some issues with her manners. And I have not worked her yet. This is going to be the first time that I've worked her. I figured it'd be a good idea to, to video it so you can see where we start and see what I do. And as I get her out and as I get started, I'll talk to you about what I'm seeing and what I think I need to do to address the issues that I'm seeing. And we'll go from there. I'm really, I have no idea what we're going to do. And uh, we'll see what she presents and then we'll go from there. So I don't know how much trouble she's going to give me putting a halter on her. I want her to come to me as my end result. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give her a chance to come to me now. So now she's turning her butt to me. So she's deciding that she really doesn't take me very serious. So what I'm going to do, I'll step in here and shut the door. I'll leave it cracked so I can get out if I need to. I'm going to as long as she gives me her head, I'll pet her head. If she takes her head away and gives me her butt, I'm going to put pressure on her butt. Good girl. Good girl. So I'm going to give her two options. She either gets petted up here, or if she gives me her butt, I'm going to have her butt move. Come on. Come on. Right there, she ignored me. I'll put some pressure on her. Good girl. Give me a head, good girl. Give me a head, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So while I'm doing this, and I'm in this stall, there's really nothing stopping her from coming at me, biting me, kicking me, whatever. But I'm watching her ears, I'm watching her temperament to see just how, how serious she is. She doesn't really strike me as a horse that wants to be aggressive. Right now, she strikes me as a horse that really doesn't respect me as an authority. So to show her my authority, I'll make her move if she presents her back end to me, and I'll pet her if she presents her front end to me. Now see, I don't really care for this, but I'm not going to do a whole lot with it right now. She's giving me her head, and as soon as I go to pet her, she's taking her head away. Don't care for that. What that is, that's telling me that this horse knows enough to get the reward but doesn't really respect you. It's like she knows how to play the games to get out of work. Good girl. Mm -mm. Good girl. Ah, uh, make a move again. And just like everything you do on one side, you got to do on the other side. She got a little bit of respect for me on one side, but didn't really respect me on the other side. Where you at? Come here. Good girl. 
Good girl. Let's go ahead and I want to put the halter on her, but I'm not going to put the halter on her right here. I put my lead rope on her, and I want to bring her over towards the door and put the halter on her over there, because that's where I want her to present her head to me and put the halter there. Now, if she pulls away from me when I go to bring her over there, I'm going to let go of the rope and I'll move her again. Come on. Come on, good girl. Good girl. Now this is where I want her to give her head for me to put the halter on. Okay, so I got the halter on her. She's immediately wanting to come out. We're not going to let that happen. I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to make her respect my space a little bit. Twice then she kind of pushed into my body right there. And I'm just going to back her up. All I'm doing right here is establishing basically a relationship with her. That I'm the leader and you're going to do what I ask you to do. What I'm asking her to do right here is not very hard. Nope, back up. But I'm trying to engage that brain. Get that brain to realize, well, I, I don't, what he's asking isn't hard, but I need to pay attention. So just get her to pay attention just a little bit. Good girl. Not going to lead her out just yet. Not until she gets better about coming into my space right here at the door. She's wanting out of the stall. The thing that I'm saying that I like is she's not pinning her ears at me to push me out of this space where she wants to go. So this definitely could be a lot worse. She could be pinning her ears telling me to move. She's not telling me to move. She's trying to get into my space to see if she can just push me out of the way. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. See, her feet got still, or more still, and she's more respecting my space right here. I like this. So we're going to go ahead and lead her out. I don't know how she's going to come out of this stall, if she's going to respect my space then. We might have to do a little bit of work in the aisleway. I want to eventually go over to the cross ties to get her saddled up, and let's see what happens. This is the first time she has really been in this aisleway, other than when her owner led her in here yesterday. So she has not seen any of these horses, any of this stuff in the barn really to speak of. So her looking around doesn't bother me too much. I want her to be aware of what's around her. Over here, over here. But I want her to respect my space and respect what I'm asking her to do. This is actually pretty hard to ask her to do this. Back up. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Back up. Now right there I asked her to stop. And she didn't. She kept pushing forward. She went on and gave in. Now right there you see how she's tilting her head that way and poking her shoulder towards me. I don't like this. She's basically telling me that whatever is over there is more important than what I am. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to have her move forward in a circle. Over here, bring your head. Bring your head to me. I want her to bring her head to me and move forward. Bring your head to me. There we go. There you go. Uh-huh. And let's stop here and back up. Back up. There we go. Interested in Hank over there. All right. So we're going to walk a few steps that way and let's see what happens. Notice she's chewing. 
think I got her attention a little bit for the meantime. And stop back up. She started trying to get ahead of me. Come on, back up. Good girl. I talked about these halters in another video, why I use these halters. I don't like the ones with the knots on them. Back up. Now she's getting to the point where I'm going to need to go to a demand. I don't like the halters with the knots because they have too much pressure. I want to put a little pressure with the halter, but not so much that I'm going to make it uh, break the skin or cause any issues right there. Let's pull it head away. I'm going to pull it back this way again. Now I tied a knot in my lead rope just to give it a little more weight. There we go. She brought her head to me that time. Let's walk towards the cross ties. Leading a little bit better. Let's stop right here. Let's go forward again. Let's go forward this direction. Back up, back up. I stopped and she pushed into my space. I'll back her up again. We're not visiting with that horse. Move your feet again. Move your feet again. Move your feet this way. Oh. Try walking forward. It's better. Stop here. There. Good job. She stopped when I asked her to stop. It's better. Had to give a little pressure on the lead rope, but it's much better than it was. When she felt that pressure, she stopped. I'm going to put her here in the cross ties. Have no idea how she's going to react. I don't think she's a horse that would sit back and pull back, but I don't know that for a fact. I don't know how she's going to react to the pressure of the cross ties. We're fixing to find out. Now she's trying to push through. Back up again. I do have my cross ties attached on each wall with a piece of hay string that will break if they pull too hard. I don't want them to tear the wall down. I also really don't want them to get loose because once they learn that they can pull and get loose, then they've learned to just push into things. And it's kind of typical for a draft type horse to learn that, that they can push through. Give her a minute, just kind of watch her and see what happens. She's never been in here, so I want to give her a chance to take it in. Let's see what she's going to do. She's trying, she's trying to push through, she's trying to push through her way. Just like she pushes through people. That's kind of what I'm saying. She'll push through a person to get her way. She got a little bit of a temper here. I'm going to push her hip back around this way. Push her hip over. Push her hip over. There we go. Good girl. She wanted to kick at me. That would have been a good time, but she didn't. This video ended up being pretty long, so I divided it up into parts. The other parts where I saddle her, work her in the round pin, bring her back in, unsaddle her, and then put her back in her stall. I'll have those parts out very soon. And it's pretty interesting to watch her progress. I'll put some clips together showing her progress from each of the first few times that I worked her, and I'll put that video out soon also. Thank you for watching.